Hi, I'm David Levithan. I'm the author of The Liver's Dictionary, co-author of Will Grayson, Will Grayson with John Green, and author of the upcoming book, Every Day. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. I still live in New Jersey. I have not strayed very far from my roots. I, I live about 25 minutes from the place where I grew up, um, which is sort of strange because many of my books, especially Every Day, are about being itinerant and sort of moving from place to place, but I've actually lived an extremely settled life. Ooh, as a child, my favorite book was Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Um, this probably says way too much about my personality. For those of you who have not read it, it is about a boy who just feels slighted by everything. Everybody is getting new sneakers and being treated better and he keeps threatening to move, at least in the American version, to Australia. And that really, that really stuck with me, and I, I really empathized with Alexander. And it also made me think that Australia was this magical, amazing place that you escaped to when life was really being rough with you. So, so I guess that's why I keep coming back here. Um, if I weren't a writer, I mean, I think realistically, I'd probably be a fifth grade teacher. Um, I just, I love that age, age 10, um, and I, in college, volunteered in a fifth grade class and I loved it. Um, but dream job, if I could have any job that I wanted to, I'd definitely be like in an indie rock band and I'd be able to play probably the guitar and I'd be able to sing, but I can't really sing and I can't really play the guitar, so, so I think teaching is probably the better fallback. Well, Every Day is about a teenager who basically from birth has woken up every morning in a different life in a different body. So it is about what is it like to have a life that is entirely as almost a soul, without gender, without race, and how do you go through life? And for A, the main character, you go through life without making any connections because you only lose them after a day. But then in the first chapter of the book, A falls in love with a girl, Rhiannon, and suddenly wants to have connections. And for both A and for Rhiannon, that's very complicated because it's about can love conquer changing every day. The idea for it really just was something that sort of was in my mind for a couple of years. I just love the notion of exploring this. And what was interesting to me is that I, I pose it as a question, can love, love conquer this? And what is it like to be like this? And I didn't actually know the answers to those questions when I started writing. I, I just wanted to tell the story. And as I told the story, suddenly the answers were clearer to me. And that's, that's really where the book comes from.